Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie. I'm accompanied, of course, by my sisters, Edith and Desiree. Once again, um, it is very hot, so you're gonna hear the air. It's just what it is. So today we came to see uh, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. And what did you guys think about it? I loved it. I loved it. I enjoyed it. It was funny, action. It, it was just, I wanna see it again. <laughs> I'm ready to see it again. I, I loved all the other fight scenes. Uh, Aquafina, that's her name, right? Yes, Aquafina. Yes. I love her. She's just hilarious. She just makes, she just make anything funny. <laughs> but um, I, I'll keep it short like this, all right? And my ten words or less. I think I'm past that already. But <laughs> <laughs> that's alright. We'll, we'll make this. Oh, you gotta know it's like this. This is marble. It's it's different. I. I really love this. It was different. I love the fight scenes and everything. And I, how you said, I love Aquafina, but I can't wait to see how she progresses in like if they do another part or if she comes out in any other Marvel movies because it was pretty cool how she learned some stuff and I can't wait for her to progress and then see what she does with that character. Yeah, I, I can't wait to just do this. And then the sister, I, I can't wait until what she does with what she does. I would love to see that if, if they do a, a movie of her, of, of only her, I can't wait if, if they do that. And, and then the other characters from the other Marvel movies come out and it's, it's, it's funny how he's there fighting. And then, because I didn't think of him of going to a fighting ring. So, I know, right? Yeah, so it's a good watch. Definitely would have paid thirty dollars to rewatch it if it was available on Disney Plus, but it's not. So sad. Is that available? No, this, deal, for, this is the first since that whole Disney Plus deal. Um, this is the first one that's only in theaters. So Sally, if you do need, uh, if you do want to watch it, which we highly recommend, obviously for you to do, definitely worth the theatrical experience. But like you said, I know I I am always talking about don't spend thirty dollars, don't spend thirty dollars. <laughs> but like, yeah, I would have been like, girl, you pay fifteen dollars, I pay fifteen dollars, and then like let's watch it again because um it's really really that good. Um sorry, but like did okay, you have, yeah, I'm okay. So I loved it as well. Both of them have been saying. It is a different Marvel take, like the tone of it. Obviously, we have we're dealing with martial arts here instead of just like typical regular fighting. It is uh, martial arts. This is a movie that my dad would definitely love yes. because he loves martial arts movies. I love all the choreo uh, choreography involved. It has some really and nice equal shots in within as well. So you're actually able to see the fight, but then there's, you're also be able to kind of be in the fight as well. She said Aquafina, I love her, I love her sense of humor. She's definitely the comedic portion in this movie as per usual. That's kind of like the only like common deal as far as Marvel movie goes uh, would be Aquafina and that humor because of course we always have to have some sort of humor to kind of line up the mood when it comes to this one because this is a slightly like darker uh, feel to it which I absolutely adore because that's one of my main issues when it comes to Marvel movies is how bright and sunshine it is. I feel like the story and being able to learn who uh, Shang-Chi or Sean is like I I I feel like his story development was, was you know we got enough yes. to know where he came from where he's at at this point. I do love Michelle Young. You? Young? Oh, I'm terrible. You know how I am with names. She's the one that plays the the Thea's aunt and the auntie. auntie she's is freaking badass. Michelle Young, is she is just like an her. amazing actress. I freaking love her. There's this um, kind of like fight training scene between him, between her and Shang Chi, and I love the way that that flow, that yeah. choreography. It was just like, like on point. Yes, I love that whole. Uh, mystical like that secret garden whatever the hell for it that we were in like all the magical creatures and dragons we had dragons you guys I've carried on enough the freaking movie is amazing before we give you our score uh, don't forget to give this video a like 
subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new should we just say it on three but we're gonna give the movie because i'm mm -hmm. pretty sure it sounds like it's gonna go yeah. so one two three large, large popcorn, popcorn with the color large <laughs> color large and color. a box of candy I'm totally totally digging phase four so far they're coming out with some really really great stuff i can't wait to see where this goes off to and it seems like it takes place pretty close after in game because of certain somebody that comes on and yeah and stuff that was happening i mean yes. it's probably just a couple months but like still in recovery that person so it literally it seems like it's following that moment uh but yeah if you've seen uh shang chi and the legend of the ten rings let us know down below what did you think about it did you like it did you, like it? Did you hate it was it just not for you? How would you kind of place it within the MCU um, bunch of movies? Um, I don't think I'll be ranking the MCU. It's too many movies, and like I said, I don't, I don't want. Like I said in my quote, I don't want to watch um, Iron, Man. Iron Man. Uh, but this definitely surpasses Black Widow um, yes. for me because of course that one did come out a few, uh, few months ago. All right, guys, that is it from us today. Until next time, see you guys in the concession. Bye.